Wolfpack out with the Huskies. Revenge on the minds of the Wolfpack. And for UConn, looking for a second straight top ten victory. Who else stands out to you in this matchup? Madison Hayes. Look out for the sophomore from NC State. Had a minimal role last season and has been so impressive for the Wolfpack early on. Battle for the rebound, and Griffin comes down with it. And a foul is called. It's on Brown Turner. So no Dorka Juhas camp. Aubrey Griffin getting the start. You do have Aubrey Griffin, a very experienced Husky, missed all of last season with a back injury. She has a much bigger role today. Also look for Ayanna Patterson coming off the bench. Gabe Edwards yesterday. Now Griffin with a steal. What a start by the Huskies. It's fun. River Baldwin checking in for the Wolf Pack. NC State has missed six straight shots. Edwards in transition for Mule. How did Nika Mule make that happen? It was like she was dribbling through a chair drill. Two or three Wolfpack defenders almost had their hands on the ball, but she stuck with it and gets it up to Edwards. Nori Emma says Nika Mule makes the hard look easy. <laughs> She's a leader. We mentioned the three seniors on this team. So it's a different look inside, but she could bring a little bit more finesse down there as well. Entry to Edwards. Johnson already two threes. In every part of the rim, but didn't fall this time. Mule to five. Yeah, I mean, only nine healthy players for this group right now. Left open, it's Rivers. And another battle for the rebound. This time it's Mule. Like Fudd on the other end, you cannot leave Diamond Johnson all by herself on the three-point line. Three triples in the first half. Fudd. Rather, Edwards. Nice steal by Edwards. Nice recognition by Mule. No help on the other side and lobs it over the top. Edwards, Fudd, and Griffin. The only three Huskies who have scored. That's all you need when somebody's giving you 22 <laughs> points and a half. Not a one-second difference between shot and game as Ducharme comes up with the steal. Now with four, here's Mule. Up to Edwards. Aaliyah Edwards beats the buzzer! Explosion. Think about that, folks. Bud, Ali Edwards, Aubrey Griffin with all the points for UConn. She gets a touch, and, and there's a big third foul on the senior, Jakia Brown-Turner. She's staying in at the moment. Aubrey Griffin with eight. Is in double figures against Texas. Here comes Griffin. Aubrey Griffin has been lights out this afternoon. Johnson with stop and go. And this was a player who played just a couple minutes per game last season because she's so confident. Hazy Fudd. Hey. But she's come alive a little bit in the second half. Hazy Fudd is a stud. Great positioning there. Oh, but Aubrey Griffin comes around at the last minute to steal it. Mule. No look to Lopez. Seneschal counted in the foul. Constant theme here, John. Defense to offense. It started on the other end. Aubrey Griffin. Collins in great position. But Aubrey Griffin reaches around. Nico Mule adds a little flair to this one. Defender was in the restricted area. So it's an end one. Nika Mule has some flair. That was her 12th assist of the game. We still have more than a full quarter to play. Diamond Johnson. Talk about turnovers. They've been a huge factor in this game. Points off turnovers. UConn 27, NC State 9 is Aubrey Griffin. Really intriguing. The young prospects that Neil Ivey has been bringing in. Look out for Virginia Tech, too. Nika Mule from downtown. Her first point of the game. It's insane the impact she's had on the game. Now with 10, it's Griffin. 
into Edwards. Aaliyah Edwards has 20. Her minutes a little bit more, but I have been impressed with her. Lou Lopez Seneschal. Offensive rebound for Mule. Back to Lopez Seneschal. What a second half! 20 points! And with that assist, how about this? Nika Mule with 15 assists sets a new UConn women's basketball record. I mean, it's not like they've had any good point guards in the program. Sue Bird <laughs> didn't come through there. Diana Tarazi didn't come through. I mean, not, not a very high bar to catch. What do you think Sue and Diana are thinking when they see a record fall? Oh. They're, I, because they're so competitive, they're, yeah. they probably get annoyed by it. Yes, and you know, you know that Gino Oriema will remind them of it. <laughs> I'm sure he, someone will shoot a text after this one. Maybe Nika, because she's as competitive as they come to. And just taking a look back, the vision has been outstanding. A lot of her sis have been in transition in the open floor where she's always getting to the middle of the floor getting to the painted area and she is getting a loud applause from the fans here at XL Center as she heads to the bench maybe the best game we've seen Nika Mule play and I think it was interesting John when we talked to Gina Oriyama he said there's a lot of pressure on AZ Fudd this year he said I think there's equally as much pressure on Nika because of that player right there Paige Becker's being out for the year Nika is the primary point guard, has the ball in her hands a ton, and what a season she's put together early on. 15 assists. What a day. See Paige Beckers. She FaceTimed Nika Mule when she found out her injury news, and Nika said it was me who was crying and Paige who was consoling me. Just because that's what Nika thinks of Paige Beckers. An offensive foul call. That bond is real, Kim, and you just feel like Nika Mule has taken ownership now. There it is. Yeah, we. <laughs> Paige just making sure the officials had that one. Maybe, maybe getting a couple referee opportunities this season. But Nika Mule has really risen to the challenge of her good friend's absence. Adversity. Injuries, challenges. The same standard and culture. UConn sets the tone to its season with back-to-back -to -back top 10 wins. What a start for the Huskies. We have seen different players emerge in these last couple of games.